Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from executeautomation.com. This is part 8 of our BDD video series. So today we are going to discuss about working with scenario outlines. Before starting this video, I would request you to watch part 7 since part 8 is completely dependent upon part 7 and part 6 of this video series. So let's get started. Scenario outlines. We worked with scenarios in part 6 and part 7 but there are situations where we may need to run the same scenario another times with different data. If you could recollect, we tried to run a scenario with only single sets of data and that scenario ran only one time. But what if we want to run the same scenario with different sets of data? In order for that to be done, we need to use scenario outline and scenario outline not just run that way, it also need to have a, a syntax called examples. If you could recollect from part 3, we discussed about that in Kirkins and that's the same thing we're going to work even in SpecFlow. So let's open our Visual Studio. So this is the scenario which we worked in our last video of our video series. So what I'm going to do here is instead of filling the mandatory details in the form with all the data same time which is not going to be the case in our real-time scenario because we will fill the name, age and phone number an email and submit the save button and in the next iteration of the scenario we will try to fill the different details for the uh, form that's how we will do in our real time scenario but this is not going to happen for what we saw in our previous video of this video series so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this scenario and I'm going to create a scenario outline so that I can iterate different sets of data for each and every scenario just for demonstration purpose I am going to remove this email alone and I am going to completely cut this data from my stuff and I am going to create a examples as you can see the intelligence automatically pops up for me I'm going to paste this right here so what I'm saying is I want to read this particular data used for this particular step for each and every iteration but again I have to use one more syntax to refer that these are the data which I need to fill for my scenario outline so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this particular column names of my table to be used as a parameter for my stuff like this name open an angle bracket pass age and close the angle bracket and phone number like this and now as you know that this is the stuff which we don't have for our step definition so we need to create the step definition so as you can see the step generator automatically tells me that this is the step which is missing and if you preview this and see that oops if you preview this and see that it says like I fill all the mandatory details in the form with Karthik and there is a dot star and a dot star which is nothing but the regular expression and it says whatever parameter comes in it will fill the data. You know what sometimes the spec flow go mad and doesn't create uh, things what we expect. So we need to sometime hand code and change the uh, values based upon our requirement. That's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, code to my clipboard and I'm going to the step definition and I'm going to paste it right here. So instead of Karthik, I'm going to say dot star because the da the data can be anything. It can be Karthik or it can be John or it can be Sam. So I'm just again using the regular expression. And also you can see that there are only two parameters being passed. So I'm going to change that to string uh, name, int h and int, uh, okay int 64 home 
because we know that the phone number is larger than the value of int which it can, which it can accommodate so I'm just changing that and now if I go back to my feature so in my feature I can see that I can still able to map the step definition which means this step is correctly mapping to my feature as you can see here great so the next thing what I'm going to do is I want to print and see whether the value which is coming from the examples table is correctly printing here in my step definition or not so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say like hey this is name similarly uh, age similarly phone number all right so that's it so now if I run this test and see what should happen is it should come to this particular scenario and it should see this particular step in my feature and then it should uh, call these data for each and every column name which I have passed here and for the next scenario it should call this particular data and similarly for the next scenario it should call this particular data All right so let's go back to our test explorer and build this solution oops oh, okay seems like oh yeah, yeah I just forgot that uh, it says that the, the scenario names for both the scenario outlined and the scenario are same. So we need to change it and we should say like create a new employee with mandatory details uh, for different iteration. Okay, I'm going to save this and if I build this right now, so if you could see here, we, we can get like different uh, data for same scenarios John Sam and Karthik now if I run the selector test you can see in the output that name John age 30 phone number is this all right similarly if I run for the another data you can see the output so this clearly implies that for a single scenario we can run multiple different datas and we can see how things works so this is what we'll expect in our real time scenario while we try to run a same scenario with multiple datas and the n unit test runner is more intelligent enough and it knows that the particular scenario outline has got different data and it is automatically listing me in my test explorer like this so that's it guys this is all about scenario outlines and how to work with multiple data for a same scenario so that's it guys this is all about scenario outlines thank you very much for watching have a great day